Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Hi, caregivers. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I am Carol Howell, your host, internationally certified dementia practitioner, Amazon best-selling author of several books, but specifically, Let's Talk Dementia. Find me on Amazon. Today, I wanted to talk with you about dehydration. And, well, it's not a good thing for any of us and how that is affecting my world and specifically Uncle Ernie's world. So that is what we're going to talk about. It's been a little disturbing so I had mentioned to you guys that Ernie um, was having some problems in 14 days. So yeah, 14 days as of the recording of this video. Ernie has successfully fallen three times. And the last time was yesterday, wound up in the ER and um, is presently waiting in the hall in a bed um, since 3 o'clock yesterday to get a room. It seems that um, in this part of our world, I live in Southwest Florida, we are in season where our population triples because everybody wants to be in Florida. And this week statistically is the highest admission to hospital week of any week of the year. Well, yay for Ernie for picking this week to be sick and need to be hospitalized. So since three o'clock yesterday, he has been in the hall waiting for a room to come open. Isn't that joyful? So I knew that when I got to, there to see him yesterday, they said they believed he was dehydrated, yet they were giving him nothing to drink and he was receiving no fluids intravenously, which I found curious, but I thought, well, I guess they're waiting until they get him admitted in case they need to do a procedure or something. Well, all right. So by the time we get into the hallway of the actual hospital, he was in an emergent care area. Um, we're talking about three o'clock in the afternoon and his tongue was stuck in his mouth and he was so dry and he starts getting very hot and felt like he was going to pass out. And I said to them, you know, Ernie really needs something to drink. And I said, he's dehydrated. Can I please give him this tea? Because um, in between time, I had run home and got a 32 ounce container of iced tea because he's a good Southern boy and loves his iced tea. And she said, well, he really needs to drink water and not tea. And I said, he won't drink water. And she said, tea will not help with dehydration. Hmm, really? She said, there are properties in it that will keep him from hydrating. And I thought, I don't believe that's true. And I said, well, I'll tell you what won't work is giving him water and expecting him to drink enough water to become hydrated because he won't drink it. So at least if he's drinking the tea, he's getting something. So she said, well, do whatever. So I handed the poor dude the 32 ounce Yeti container, the fake Yeti, because who can afford the real Yetis? I just want to know. <clears throat> handed him that container of good old Southern iced tea and 32 ounces he drank in about two minutes. I had to keep slowing him down because things hit his belly make him sick, right? Sucked it down. He was so happy. And within probably another 10 minutes, he had drank my container of ice water fixed with doTERRA's orange, I think it was orange oil and some sweetener. And he liked it too. But then I kept thinking about, hmm, does tea really keep us from hydrating? Because I don't think I've ever heard that before. And so what I have learned, and I thought you might need to know this piece of information for your benefit and for your loved ones with dementia, is that is not true anymore. It's pretty much considered a wives' tale. Daniel Vigil, Associate Clinical Professor of Family Medicine at the um, David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. Now, did y'all get all that? <laughs> he contends that when you drink a cup of coffee or a glass of iced tea, you're also taking in fluid along with the caffeine. He says, even though caffeine is a mild diuretic, which means it makes you urinate, <clears throat> you won't lose more fluid through urine than you take in by drinking a caffeinated beverage. Your body is able to absorb as much fluid as it needs and expel the rest. For that reason, your morning pick-me-up actually helps hydrate you, not the opposite. Vigil says that coffee and tea can and should count towards your daily eight or so cups of water a day. So there. Hmm. 
I recommended to my husband as he was driving to see my brother-in-law this morning to stop and get Ernie a big old cup of tea from the local um, gas station that sells iced tea and let him have it because we got to get some fluids in this guy. So why is that so important? Well, first of all, you know you have to drink. You can go something like 30 days without food, and you can only go three days without liquid. You've got to have it. Your brain, begin when you have <clears throat> dementia, especially Alzheimer's type dementia, or really anything that's destroying the brain, the brain quits sending the signal that you need to drink, or else it sends the signal that says, if you drink, you'll be sick. Don't drink. It will make you sick, so you don't. Or you just forget to drink, and that happens a lot, and that's been Ernie's situation. It's not that Ernie won't drink. When we go to visit him, I can hand him his ginger ale, and he will drink it. But when we're not there, no one is constantly handing him a cup to drink, so he became dehydrated. Now, that's bad also because you can't flush out the toxins in your body. You know, we urinate for a reason, and that's to help flush out. We, we, we drink, and the body flushes out the things in our body that we don't need, that are unhealthy for us, that keep us clean, that keep the kidneys cleaned out and the bladder, all that good junk. I can't explain it to you, but you know what I'm talking about. So now we know that um, Ernie has... Uh, high blood, white blood cell count, so he's got infection somewhere, there's something going on, and his creatinine level is off, which, I know something's going on with his kidney, so who knows what's going on with the poor dude, but just broke my heart to see him and all these other people just in the hall waiting for a room. I don't know what's going on with our medical system today that hospitals um, cannot accommodate folks better, and of course, around here, they're going to say, well, we could build another hospital, but then an off season, when everybody goes back up north, we would have empty hospital beds. Okay, I sort of kind of understand that, but maybe that's worth it. May I don't know. Maybe we need to figure something out. I don't know what's going to become of this story with us. I'll keep you posted, but I want you to keep yourself hydrated. Because let's think about it. If you're not keeping yourself hydrated and you get a problem, who's going to take care of your loved one? Who's going to advocate for your loved one? Maybe your loved one is in an assisted living and, and they have care, but you know you're advocating for them. You know you're making sure that the right things happen when they're supposed to. And if you can't be there, who's going to do that? So please drink. Now, drink appropriately, right? <laughs> not talking about four margaritas a day. That's not what I'm talking about. I do recommend water over anything else. Um, as I said, I take water. Um, I think my container is a big glass container. is a gallon and a half, and it's 20 drops of either orange or lime or lemon is what I use. I've got peppermint coming. I'm going to try that. And then I put um, sweet leaf liquid stevia, and that's about the only brand I recommend because it is pure, and over ice. I love it. Now, I will be honest and tell you, my husband and my daughter think it is thinks it is incredibly disgusting, but Ernie enjoyed it yesterday. <laughs> so I get a lot of water, and I am ingesting those good-for-you oils, and those oils are incredibly good for you. <clears throat> so consider doing that. But if that's not your thing, drink tea or what, whatever way you've got to to get that liquid in you, but not sodas. No, no, no. There's never going to be a time that Carol's going to tell you. Let me back that up. There will seldom be a time that Carol's going to tell you that sodas are an okay thing. My exception to that is that beautiful woman in the picture back there that I've told you about. My mama, in her last, oh, three months, the only thing she would drink was Food Lion orange soda. And realizing that she had to drink something and we could get nothing else in her, even coffee. Mm -mm, she wanted nothing but Food Lion orange soda then you can bet I gave her food line orange soda. But if you're not at that point, then stay away from the sodas. Stay away from the things that are in cans. No, don't do that. Um, I, my oil is in a glass container um, where I keep it stored. Just think smart. The more time I spend in hospitals with folks, the more pushed I am to take care of myself. I don't want to be in the hospital. You don't want to be in the hospital. You don't want your loved one there if we can help it. So let's make the changes we can make. So load up on the liquids today. Yep, you're going to be pee-peeing a lot. That's okay. That's what your body's supposed to do. Looking forward to next time. Blessings and smiles. 
Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to, and you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth, you can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.